Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are continuing with uh, fertilizers. And in our last lesson, we discussed the Heba process, which was the manufacture of ammonia. And we also discussed the Oswald process, which is the manufacture of nitric acid. Now, in today's lesson, we will look at the manufacture of sulfuric acid. How to get sulfates? To get sulfates, you need sulfuric acid, H2SO4. So this is the contact process. The contact process is the manufacture of H2SO4. And as I said, we will look at why do we need nitric acid? Why do we need sulfuric acid? Why do we need ammonia? And uh, that will be looked at in the next slide. <clears throat> so to begin with, we see here, A is pumped into uh, a furnace and uh, with sulfur, and then we create sulfur dioxide. So we can say our first reaction is S plus O2 gives you SO2. So that's the first point that we have. Then we see that the SO2 is used as a, in a purifier and the dust is removed. And then we have a water tower. And what happens is that this SO2 could react with the H2O to form SO3, but that doesn't take place because that is a, a slow process. So what happens here, the SO2 reacts with uh, uh, O2 to form SO3. And that takes place somewhere in the continuing towers here. I see they haven't discussed it yet. They don't have it here. But that is the reaction that takes place. The SO2 reacts with O2 to form SO3. Just to make this a little bit more compact so we have enough place to write. And then after, after we see that the SO3 that is formed, this takes place incidentally, SO2 plus O2 reacts with O2 in the presence of a catalyst. And the catalyst that is used there, we just write it on the side so that we don't forget. The catalyst that is used here is V2O5, which is actually called vanadium pentoxide. Vanadium pentoxide, five oxygens. And that's the reason it is called the contact process, because it takes place in the uh, presence of a catalyst. And that most probably will take place in this particular tower. Uh, actually not. The, the water and the H2SO4 is a drying, drying, drying tower, and here we have our heating tower, which possibly is the place where the SO3 will react to form H2SO4. So what happens, the SO3 actually reacts with sulfuric acid, so it's between these two towers, H2SO4 to form H2S2O7. So H2S2O7 is called oleum. Oleum or pyrosulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid or even it's called fuming sulfuric acid. And then we see that the fuming sulfuric acid is this here. Yes, in H2SO4. Uh-huh. H2SO4, and then that's the fubic sulfuric acid, and if we take that H2S2O7 and react it with water, we see we can get 2H2SO4. So we see sulfuric acid is used to, sulfuric acid is used to make more sulfuric acid. That's an interesting case. So it's important that when you learn the contact process, you learn all the four reactions that are required for the manufacture, oh, sorry, three, all the four equations that are required for the manufacture of sulfuric acid. And it's important to know the catalyst, vanadium pentoxide, that is used in the second step where SO2 reacts with O2 to form SO3. And this reaction also has to be balance, which I'm not going to do at this point in time, due to time. And then going further, my, my most important point is, why did we make NH3? The NH3 was made by the Haber process. And then why did we make HNO3? 
which is uh, nitric acid by the Oswald process. And why did we make H2SO4 by the contact process? And if you look at this diagram, it demonstrates it quite well. Because if you look at this particular diagram, we see here that the nitrogen comes, and the hydrogen comes by the Haber process to form ammonia. So here we have our ammonia. And we see that the ammonia that we have has to react with sulfuric acid. So when the, when the ammonia reacts with the sulfuric acid, a fertilizer is formed. And what is the fertilizer that's formed? Let's just write it down. NH3 plus H2SO4 will give you NH4SO3. So ammonium sulfate is used. Uh, so ammonium sulfate is formed as fertilizer C. Similarly, on this side here, we see that the ammonia reacts with NO to form a brown gas. This brown gas will be NO2, and the brown gas will react with oxygen and water. Actually, uh, the, the NO reacts with oxygen to form NO2, and the NO2 reacts with water to form HNO3. And this HNO3, which is your nitric acid, will react with ammonia coming to this point here to form your fertilizer D. So we can say HNO3, which is your nitric acid, going this way, reacts with NH3, ammonia, coming down to form fertilizer D. And what will fertilizer be D be? It will be ammonium nitrate. So here we, we see it's got double nitrogen, so this is a very excellent fertilizer for plant growth. So here is a typical example of a diagram that could be placed in an exam and asked to say what is fertilizer D, how is fertilizer D formed, what is the process formed when ammonia becomes a liquid E, what is liquid E, and this is the Oswald process, and then the Haber process, what is the Haber process, what is fertilizer C. So this is an excellent diagram to show the manufacture of fertilizers, and we see that it is an industrial process, and that's why this is an artificial fertilizer and not an organic fertilizer that is formed. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much.